Hey beauties, welcome back. I really hope that all of you guys have been amazing this entire time. I'm Shraka Tish Pandey and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about my summer skincare and overall beauty essentials that I feel you guys should be using this summer and also a few recommendations which I feel will be useful and beneficial for you guys. We're going to be doing like an overall beauty essentials today and it's going to be an entire roundup from hair care to makeup to skincare, everything. Few of these products that I'm going to be showing you guys today are the products that I've been using for about more than 2-3 years. This video is for you guys who really really like spending on beauty. I'm one of them and I know that even you guys also love spending on makeup. Okay, I, you know, sometimes you feel really guilty that you shop a lot but it's for yourself, it's for self care and uh, it makes you feel good about yourself so why not. So we're going to first start with hair care and I'm going to go ahead and show you first. So the first product that I want to show you guys is the Olaplex number no. 5 Bond Maintenance Conditioner. Now I'm not using the shampoo but I'm using the conditioner for this for my hair. I started using this product like I think a year back and before that I had really really frizzy hair and you can see that I've got highlights which are ash blonde highlights. And uh, once you highlight your hair, like especially the highlighting process, bleach, which makes your hair really uh, dry. I couldn't find any product to just help my hair and pre prevent it from breaking. I was looking out for products which would just help my hair and prevent the bleached hair from breaking. It seriously kind of like reduced the volume of my hair. And now you can see that even my hair, even though it's in a ponytail, you can see how maintain my hair is i'm not blow dried my hair but this is the way my hair looks after a wash and the color pretty much is maintained so far but before using the olaplex conditioner i regularly twice or thrice a week used to use the l'oreal professional paris pro longer uh filler a10 plus amino acid uh so what this does is this basically lengths renewing for long hair so I think this is something which renews your hair, like on the ends of your hair and this worked really really great for my hair. I've been using this for about I think 2 years from now and the Olaplex one is something that I've started using like since a year so that's pretty recent. Before styling my hair, now when it comes to styling I know that bleached hair and especially colored hair like gets damaged very easily so I've been using the L'Oreal's Dream Lens No Haircut since I started using this product, I have seen like a noticeable difference in my hair that it, I've seen that my hair doesn't lose its, um, I would say, density. Also, it doesn't break my hair a lot when I'm styling it. So before styling, I always use this product. And uh, to my surprise, it's an affordable choice. It also has a heat protection, making this a very good choice. For, for you guys out there who really really style your hair a lot and I like the fact that it smells really really great I love how L'Oreal products smell even the mask smells amazing and uh, moving on again another product I use the L'Oreal Absolute Repair Weed Germ Oil now this is a 10 in 1 professional oil which is a leave-in treatment for normal to sensitized hair so these are the products that i've been using for my hair uh since my hair requires special care because i've bleached them all the links of these products are mentioned down in the description below so you guys can go ahead and have a look over there now moving on to my skincare routine now since it's summer i get tanned very easily considering the climate is really hot and humid as well but there's something that I've been using for I think a couple of months and I've seen a very notable, noticeable difference in my under eye and I've been using the L'Oreal's Glycolic Bright Under Eye Serum. Especially when you get really tired eyes, you sit in front of your laptop and your tiredness just reflects on your under eye making it really like a little bit darker. I use this product every night and in the morning as well. For my under eyes and i've seen that my under eye darkness has just reduced significantly when it comes to skincare my skin is different and your skin is different few products that i might recommend might not suit you 
make sure that you buy products that you are really drawn to uh, that's my recommendation and do an analysis of your skin type as well but there's no harm in using glycolic acid which is make sure that you're not using any ingredients that are not supposed to be paired with glycolic acid i'm going to tell you that i use glycolic acid only on the days when i'm not using retinol because you are not supposed to pair glycolic with retinol so here's a tip so keep this in mind whenever you're using glycolic acid moving on to my vitamin c vitamin c is something that i use every day since the past five to six years since i started my skincare journey over the years i've used multiple vitamin c serums but this is the one that i've been using i'm using currently this is the murat environmental shield with c glycolic serum i love the texture of this serum and it is super super hydrating it's rich and the best thing is that i have combination skin and vitamin c tends to break me out especially around my t zone but this serum doesn't break me out at all so that's why i've been using it very consistently there are multiple vitamin c options in the market um of course you can choose as per your you know your preference your skin type especially if it's suiting your skin or not so make sure that you do a little bit of trial and error before you stick to a skin care for my sunscreen i've been using the listen um listen i don't know how to pronounce this brand uh, positive skin science soothing shade spf 50 pa triple plus sunscreen uh, this has an anti pore text complex this is light proof sweat proof and non greasy making this like perfect for my summer skin care routine and especially for summers before this my previous summer i was using the laneige watery sunscreen this also has a similar spf protection and pa triple plus but uh, i kind of like grew out of laneige because i kind of noticed that especially on the days when i was using retinol and the next day i was using my sunscreen my skin uh, was getting uneven and was just getting dark so i kind of felt that it's just not working with my retinol skin care routine and retinol is something that is necessary for my skin routine as as of now so there's a reason why i stopped using the laneige but the laneige sunscreen is really really great especially if you guys love a dewy and a glowy makeup or even like a glowy natural skin it's a really hydrating and a moisturizing sunscreen and in the summer season the sunscreen will not break a sweat it will not cause any creasing or any greasy feeling on your face but i've been using the lysen lysen i've been using the lysen sunscreen as of now the lysen sunscreen is something that i've noticed that doesn't cause any sweating on my face even though the climate is really humid or and it's hot after using it on my skin the next day after using retinol at night i've noticed that it's not causing any uh unevenness and it's just giving ample sun protection to my skin but i absolutely like i kind of love the light this sunscreen is really lightweight in texture and it absorbs into your skin really really quick and also it doesn't cause any stickiness or doesn't cause any greasiness on your face no matter how how uh greasiness on my face so it's really perfect for my combination skin type Another Korean skincare product that I've been using since the past two years is the Cosrx Advanced Snail Lotion. I love, love, love this product. It adds a lot of hydration to your face. And if you're somebody who doesn't like using a lot of skincare products and you just want like a really short skincare routine, I love using this especially at night when I want my skin to be really nice and glazed and just with a soft, supple plumpness to my skin. then i use this product now i'm moving on to the primer i have been using the max stroke cream for the past 4 or 5 years i love how hydrating this product is and it's a very versatile makeup product i've seen that i can use it with any makeup be it underneath the foundation with mixing it with the foundation or even applying it all over your face after applying the foundation as well i just like But I can just mix and match anything with this product. This is something which is a really go-to product for me. But if you guys um, do not like uh, luminous, dewy makeup looks, or even like a natural glowy makeup look, then you shouldn't 
use this product because it gives you a really nice plumpness to your skin it instantly hydrates your face especially if you have had a really tired night or a tired day you just apply it and it gives you the glow onto your skin because it has these small shimmer particles in it and it comes in around five shades i have it in the shade pink light so it goes really well with my skin it gives me a very nice glow i as a person love using makeup of all textures but if you're somebody who really likes using matte products and love the matte finish then you shouldn't use this one because this is a really hydrating hydrating product i'm not quite sure if this would be suitable for oily skin types because i am a combination skin so it goes really well with my skin but if you guys are somebody who uh, has a really oily skin then i would not recommend using this product another primer that i've been loving recently is the too faced plump and prime luxury face plumping primer serum now this primer gives you a really lifted makeup like especially after you apply it your skin visibly looks really lifted and plump and tight so it's like a like a boost of like a mini boost of botox but um temporarily so what happens is that especially when you have a uh, skin that has been really like if you have large pores or if you have skin that looks really tired then i like using this especially on those days but noticeably i've not used this that much but whenever i've used this product i have seen that um my foundation sits really well and my makeup just goes really flawlessly after i use this one going on to the foundation i love the aglas um vanish stick i think this is what it's called and it's a really nice creamy stick foundation it has a very nice natural finish to it just look at the coverage of this foundation the one thing that i love about this foundation is that it stays where i put it it doesn't budge at all and since it's in a stick form i can customize it as per my liking i can just either put it all over my face have a full coverage look or just customize it as per or just use it underneath my eye and just softly dot a few dots all over my face and just blend it and it just gives me a soft semi covered like a semi finish makeup look and this this foundation has a really nice creamy soft it has a really creamy matte texture making it very very easy to blend this foundation usually stick foundations are very difficult to blend but this one blends very seamlessly moving on to the next foundation this is the max studio radiance serum power foundation this is one of their recent launches and i absolutely love this foundation it has like medium uh, medium coverage but it has a very very nice radiant texture and you guys know that i am like a sucker for you know luminous and like really dewy dewy foundations and just look at just look at the texture of this foundation and look at the coverage of this foundation i love using this foundation especially you know when i i, I love using this foundation when i want that really glowy makeup look and i want my skin to look like it's a naturally a, like it's a natural glowy skin that i have and i just kind of love the undertone of the foundation as well now i am in the shade nc35 i just love the texture of this foundation and it's so easy to blend this foundation even with my fingers the one thing that i love about this foundation is that it's so dewy and it's so hydrating onto the skin that i don't even need to add um stroke cream beneath it or with it to even just add a little bit of luminosity to my skin now this is a foundation that i'm wearing right now this is a chanel le beige water fresh complexion touch foundation this is one of the most unique foundations i've ever used and i that's the reason why i love it the most i kind of love how natural this foundation feels on my skin especially when those little foundation bubbles just blend on their skin even though it's like it has a very nice watery 
gel like texture it feels like second skin it doesn't even feel like i have foundation on my face when i use this one i'm moving on to concealer this is the huda beauty's over achiever concealer this concealer is the oldest concealer that i have and probably you can just judge by how the way the tube looks and i've used this concealer a lot i like using this concealer especially when I want to do those makeup looks that I want it to last longer because this concealer once you apply it and you blend it it doesn't budge at all. This is one of the concealers that doesn't budge very easily from your skin. So I like using it especially with uh matte looks and even uh with makeup looks that have a semi matte finish or like a creamy finish because this concealer has a really soft matte texture so i would not advise using it for glowy makeup looks or even dewy or luminous makeup looks the next concealer is the dior forever skin correct concealer i am in the shade for natural i love how creamy this concealer is this is one of my go to concealers especially i love using this one because it comes with this applicator making it just very easy for me to apply it all over my face This concealer is like always in my bag because it's very easy to use for me. The next concealer is the Glowish by Huda Beauty. This is the Bright Light Sheer Concealer. I know that concealers are supposed to conceal your imperfections, but this is another sheer concealer. This actually has a sheer to medium coverage and it has a really hydrating texture. I'm going to show you guys that this has a really really soft hydrating texture. You can see how light and dewy this concealer is. It looks really hydrating. I love using this concealer when I just have skin tint on or I just want hydration underneath my eyes. I've been using this concealer when I take flights because in flights your skin becomes really dry and I don't like using a concealer especially a creamy concealer. or a matte concealer or a semi matte concealer because then it's going to give that patch under your eye which doesn't look that great so this concealer is really really blendable and it's so easy to use that even i can just blend it with my fingers as well and you can see the coverage doesn't budge and it gives a really nice hydrated texture to your skin now for my face powders i like using the one from mac cosmetics this is their studio fix foundation powder and the other one that i have is the dior forever cushion powder and the one that i'm wearing right now is the dior forever cushion powder I'm pairing this powder with matte looks and soft matte looks because it if you're going to use this because if you're going to use this powder underneath your eye it's just going to you know just suck up all the moisture on your skin and give you a really soft matte look underneath your eye and that's the reason why i love using it especially on my t zone and underneath my chin and the best thing is that i love using it above a concealer which is super creamy because then it's not going to cause my under eyes to crease at all and it's going to give a really really beautiful you know even skin and even makeup to my face and the next powder is the max studio fix powder studio fix foundation powder i've been using this like since the past 4 or 5 years since i started using makeup and it's still been in my vanity for all this while i am a nc35 and the best thing about this powder is that it can be used above a foundation to set your makeup or just can be used all by itself as well and above you can under eye as well so this is like a foundation it's a foundation powder it comes with a certain coverage which can just you know add coverage to your face above a sheer or a medium coverage foundation or over a full coverage foundation as well if you just want to make the matte softer then this powder is this powder can be used in every way now i'm moving on to the blushes and the bronzers so the first blush that i have is pinch me from mac and you can see this is a really nice soft pink color it's like a mid tone pink and that is the reason why i love this color it's perfect for my skin tone and it's so easy to blend i just love how pigmented my blushes are the next blush i have is the rare beauties uh, blush in love now this is a really beautiful terracotta shade and i just love that i can just take one pinch of this blush and it's enough for 
to both my cheeks. Really beautiful color of the summers. I love using blushes during summers that would just last. So the MAC blush is for especially MAC looks. And I love using the Rare Beauties blush for dewy makeup looks or uh, you know luminous makeup looks or like a glowy makeup look. The next blush from MAC is from the Glow Play blush in the shade Grand. Now this shade is a really nice peachy pink color which is really really cute really great which is really great for summers and you can see how light this blush is so i really like using it even like all over my cheeks and it just gives me a natural flush of color so i select my blushes as for different themes of makeup like if i really want my face to look natural then i would select grand from glow play blush or if I really want my blush to pop out, I would use the Rare Beauty blush. If I'm doing a matte makeup look, then I would definitely use the blush from MAC. Another palette that I love using is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Palette. Now, this is a limited edition palette, but this palette comes with different shades. So, and I love this coral shade from the blush this is in this sh this is the strobe blush in vibrant flush you can see it's a really pretty coral shade and that is why i love this particular palette this comes in this comes very handy as well there are like highlighters and there are blushes as well so i carry this in especially when i go out for a summer vacation moving on to the bronzers i love using the charlotte and breeze airbrush bronzer but you can see that this is this shade is a bit light for me. So if I really want like a soft bronze look is when I use this bronzer. This is for like my matte, soft matte makeup looks. And for my cream makeup looks or um, for my dewy makeup looks or my luminous makeup looks, I like using the Beautiful Skin Sun Kissed Glow Bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury. Mm -hmm. This is in the shade uh, 2 Medium. And when it comes to like bronzers, I uh, just want like a soft pop of bronze onto my skin. So that's the reason why I don't choose colors which are really dark for my skin. Now moving on to the lips, I am wearing the shade Mullet Over from MAC Cosmetics. This shade is a really pretty peach, peachy pink nude color. This is perfect for the spring summer makeup look and another shade from MAC that I love using for summers is Mocha and Mocha is also another peachy pink color but you can see that Mocha has a little bit of brown undertones to it wherein Mullet Over has more peach more pink to it um, another shade that I love and another look that I love doing during spring summer is using uh, or applying a coral lip or I would say you know those tangerine lips and another shade that I love using for such lips is the shade Resort Season from the MAX Liquid Lip Color from the MAX Powder Kiss Liquid Lip Color you can see this is such a gorgeous tangerine shade and I love, love this lip color. Um, so these lip colors from MAC, especially the powder case ones, are not that long lasting. So I just like softly apply it all over my lips and just let it stay. So they, uh, since they're not transfer proof, they of course uh, come off from my lips, but they still leave a slight tint on my lips. But I just love these three colors, especially for my summer makeup. I'm so excited for this color that I am going to just swatch it onto my lip. This liquid lip color comes with this very unique applicator, making it really easy to like apply it all over your lips. And it's not transfer proof, but I just love the shade and I think it's so cute and it's so pretty the summers and for the spring now moving on to the last product that i love using is the Too Faced three in one hangover replenishing primer and setting spray i love using this primer setting spray it has a very nice peachy fragrance and the best thing is that whenever i spray it on my face it gives a very nice glow and the glow stays for a really really long time making your skin really hydrated and moisturized and gives you that glow and moisture from within making this like a staple for my summer essentials so if you guys like this video do not forget to give this video a thumbs up 
and if you guys are new here do not forget to subscribe to my channel and all the links as usual are mentioned down in the description below you guys can find your favorites and your summer essentials down in the description below if you guys have any questions for me do not forget to drop them down in the comments below and i will reply to them as soon as possible and i will see you guys in another video